So if you're a SmartThings user and you are using Echo Speaks, we got an email here saying that the Echo Speaks is going to be going away. So what can you do and what are our options to continue to enjoy the powerful integration of Echo Speaks? Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also, if you're interested in building the ultimate smart home, check out the video description for the three simple steps to get started. Now in this video, what we're going to be doing is kind of covering what we can do to make sure that Echo Speaks is going to continue to work. Now, a lot of this is in the hands of the developer, but SmartThings has sent out this email. So basically Echo Speaks on September 8th is going to be going away. So whatever you have installed, it will just stop working. Now, what they recommend is you install the new SmartThings Alexa integration before September 8th. And we're going to go ahead and do that today. But I did want to show you something from the developer here. Right, so over on the SmartThings community, the developer is saying here, here's my plan and I've run it by the folks at SmartThings. So some of this may change. Um, so basically he's pretty fast at coding and he's going to do his best to create a new version under the new API. Um, but it's just not possible to get done within a month. So basically his short term plan is to create a light version um, using the existing code of Echo Speaks. And that light version will allow you to do things like speech, announcements, and basic controls, but it will not pull Amazon constantly for device information and statuses. So you'll still be able to use it. It just won't be quite as good. Um, but a lot of the time, I mean, for me, I don't really care the status of something. As long as I can send the command to the speaker of my choice, um, that's going to work just fine for me. Um, and it might uh, work fine for a lot of you as well. He's going to be starting to work on that. Um, so we'll look forward to the light version of Echo Speaks. All right, so now back over onto the new SmartThings Alexa integration. So in the email, it's just going to have a, a link you can click to upgrade. So we're just going to tap on that, and that's going to give us the instructions on how to do that. Um, so basically saying the Echo Speaks um, Smart App will no longer be supported and existing installs will not be accessible after September 8th. Um, and they're just kind of explaining everything that they said. So the new official Alexa integration runs more smoothly, efficiently than the legacy Alexa integration and supports more devices and multiple locations. So let's go ahead and get this set up. And also at the bottom here, it says some features of Echo Speak Smart App can be replicated using our official Alexa integration and routines via the Alexa app, um, which you can find for information here. So they're basically saying, well, you can't use smart things, but you can use the Alexa app. And that's not going to work for a lot of us because um, we put all of our devices in smart things and we only use Alexa for voice control or routines that only involve Alexa devices. All right, so once in the new app, we're going to tap on the plus sign in the top row here, and we're going to go to voice assistance. And then we're just going to tap on Alexa and just tap on allow. And it's going to just basically say, are you sure you want to link your smart things to your Alexa? So we're obviously going to click on link. And now it says smart things and Alexa are now linked. So we're going to tap on done. And you would do the same thing for Google Assistant as well. You just tap on Google Assistant. And at the bottom it says account already has been linked. So apparently there's not a new one for the Google Assistant. All right, so now if we go into our devices, let's see if anything changed here. Let's see if I recognize anything new. So all these Echo devices here are from Echo Speaks. Yeah, so it definitely does not add any, you know, Echo devices in your list to be used in automations but you may be able to use the Echo speakers in another way in a smart app, for instance. So that's basically all I wanted to cover in this video. What is basically going on with Echo Speaks, how the developer is going to fix this problem. He is not giving up. Um, he is going to create a light version to get us through and then a brand new version in the new API that SmartThings will accept. 
And obviously you're going to want to definitely upgrade your Alexa integration with your smart things. And once that's done, we're just going to have to kind of wait and see um, how this all turns out. But um, don't panic. Um, there's going to be a lot of changes going on with smart things. I wouldn't switch over to new platforms and all that stuff just yet. What they're trying to do is really make it better. They're trying to get things integrating more seamlessly and rely less on the community. That way it's a better experience for every user. Now that's gonna take some time and I don't agree with how they've gone about doing it so far, but they are getting it done and they are not going back to using the old stuff. So a lot of my videos are gonna be outdated and not useful anymore, but we are having a lot more content coming out. We have one video every week, so definitely stay tuned for those. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.